Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Virgo in June 2021. What's going on, Virgo? How are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing well. Virgo, welcome to June, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're safe, happy, healthy, and secure. Please continue to take very good care of yourselves and those that you know and love, okay? Uh, Virgo, anything you want from me, it's in the description box below. Timestamp is down there. Information on how to purchase a personal reading with me is down there if you are interested. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, the link is down below as well, okay? Virgo, that is the start of your reading. We're going to get into it in just a second. We'll expand a little bit, not a little bit, a considerable bit. <laughs> We're going to expand on the message a little bit later with the deck and also talk about the bottom of the deck as your overall energy. But to start, you guys have the High Priestess in the reverse wheel. Of fortune and the strength card three major arcanas just like your good friend uh taurus so i don't know maybe the taurus maybe the earth energies are having a lot of uh cosmic influence but uh high priestess in reverse pisces wheel of fortune sag leo uh is associated with strength so if you could be dealing with any of those signs or not at all um before i cut on the camera and these came out like this because this one came by itself and then these two came as a pair. Um, I got the phrase, face your destiny. It is your destiny. It's, it came through like in a very like, was that guy named, his name like Orson Welles or something or like a James Earl Jones, like this very deep, it is your destiny kind of, kind of voice came through. Um, so maybe some of you are talking to your guides. Maybe they sound like James Earl Jones. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like there is this facing destiny because of the orientation of the strength card and the maiden, the woman with the lion and the lion itself is facing. When I put it down on the table, it's looking right at the wheel of fortune. So for some of you, this is like looking at the timing of a situation, looking at what's happening in your life right now or about now, you know, or at some pivotal point and really, you know, staring at it, acknowledging it, whether or not you do anything with it. I don't know, because I do get the sense of there's a potential for action. There's a potential to to take a strong stance stance in some type of way. But I feel some of you are going to fumble the bow so to speak. And I could be talking about someone else. This is a general reading. I am addressing it as this is you, Virgo, but it could be someone you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be you, so don't take it too personally. But I feel like somebody can look the situation, their destiny, their path, their enlightenment, their awareness, their, their consciousness, whatever, some type of revelation dead in the eye. Look at it straight on and ignore it. Totally ignore it. This is coming from the high priestess being in reverse. You know, the Wheel of Fortune, you do with it what you please. You don't have to interact with it any more or any less than any other energy or card that presents in the tarot, right? So just because the Wheel of Fortune is about divine timing, it can talk about karma, it can talk about destiny, it can talk about, you know, all kinds of very heavy hitting subjects or, or connotations. But you don't have to do a goddamn thing with it if you don't want. And that's what I feel someone here might do. Tarot is just a possibility. It's not science, you know, so it's not, you know, set in stone and we all have free will, right? So I feel someone here has the fortitude with the strength energy. Strength is about facing adversity, overcoming uh, certain setbacks or, or pitfalls and all these types of things. You know, living to fight another day, having that courage, that ferocity to push through, even though it hurts like hell. But I feel someone's kind of like, mm, nah don't want to or mm, I don't have time because Wheel of Fortune can talk about time. I simply don't have the time to invest in this. And then again, High Priestess is like <sighs> normally talks about deep intuition, strong intuition, the, the connectivity that we as humans here on this earth have with the divine, has with the cosmos, have with any type of powers that may or may not exist, and depending on what you believe in, right? And with it being in reverse, I feel like it's a, it's a, almost like a playing dumb energy. Because these, again, are all major arcanas, Virgo, and major arcanas speak to influence from the universe. Meaning it's not a minor arcana, which is more our day-to-day -day lives. These are things that exist beyond the bounds of time here, time and place here on Earth, right? So there's like this 
influence that's in your life, in your energy, in your psyche, possibly, High Priestess again, but you play dumb. Someone, or at least someone does. I, I don't, you know, ignoring signs, ignoring synchronicities, ignoring the writing on the wall. Again, making excuses, I don't have time, even though you've got the energy. That, that's plain to see with the strength card being there. The energy is there, but the care, possibly, possibly someone doesn't care. Possibly someone doesn't believe. Whatever this is, this is like not necessarily meeting the moment or making the most out of this opportunity. Because again, the Wheel of Fortune, you don't have to interact with it. You don't have to recognize it. You don't have to feel attached to it or feel that it has influence on your life even though it kind of does you know um yeah so whoever this is it's a little bit of a selling yourself short it's a little bit of a defeatist energy or it's it's conveniently ignorant conveniently preoccupied conveniently can't can't dedicate an iota of strength or energy or focus towards something that let me let me let me amend myself a little bit the high priestess in the reverse can also be unaware or unsure what's the word they're giving me the word delusional so maybe that's also a factor here but there could be something here about like not fully understanding your position as a divine person, as a divine being, or having any 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 inkling or any feeling, any attachment to, you know, sort of metaphysical things. Philosophy, even. Even not metaphysical, just basic philosophy. You know, someone might be very much what's real is real and what's unreal doesn't exist or I can't even contemplate it therefore it doesn't factor in a lot of people are like that you know I'm not saying that this is what this this is what this person believes but this could be their art an argument that someone makes like for an example just an example not calling anybody out here this could be someone who is uh, atheist I respect atheists I was atheist at some point in my life um, and they might say, well, I don't believe in God because there's no proof. You can't physically prove God to me, so I don't believe. I don't believe in anything I cannot see. You know, that kind of argumentation. They're, this person could be extremely logical. All right. Um, to what end? For what purpose? What's going on? What are the deets? What are the nuances here? I don't know. But I'm sensing that someone has potential, 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 but the potential doesn't go anywhere. Okay. So what else is going on here for Virgo? What else is happening here for Virgo? Show me more, please. Show me more in this situation for Virgo in June 2021. Show me more. Okay. Star, that has been coming out a lot. Okay, that one came out there like that. One more, please. Virgo, show me. Oh, did it? Nope, did not. Okay, that one did, though. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. All right, so star, a page of wands, and the eight of swords. Okay, so for some, it's about, you know, a little bit of a growing up situation. A little bit of a... Still learning. That could be the time. And Wheel of Fortune related to Sagittarian energy. Sagittarius is the ninth house. And ninth house is about higher learning and philosophical learning and metaphysical learning. So all those quote unquote higher mindsets or higher vibrations of education. You know, it goes very much outside the bounds of brick and mortar learning to like life learning you know what I mean so that's possibly at play here that some of you this is not not as if you're not fulfilling your potential as a student in again traditional school but 
This is someone who possibly isn't fulfilling their potential as a learner in life. You know, I'm not, I do not in my work pres, pres, <laughs> propose to have the answers. I have my answers. Whether or not we agree, that's, that's a whole different story. But what I'm sensing here is somebody who doesn't take life lessons on well, if at all. Eight of Swords, very stuck in a certain mindset, in a certain viewpoint of the world or their life. This person can be, again, incredibly logical and rational. And when you are like that, it's not a bad thing, by the way. It's just your life is always filtered through what is plausible, what is possible, what is feasible, what is rational. And a lot of what's going on here, here, and here, three major arcana, the strength is a little bit between both worlds. So these three majors are talking about some things that you probably can't fit in any human textbook. You couldn't even put the words down. And, and I mean, you can try. There are plenty of books that are incredibly helpful to us here on Earth. Um, but there's like a... It doesn't connect with this person. They don't, they don't read those types of books. They don't understand those types of messages. Yes? So you could have someone, again, be staring dead at their destiny, their path, their calling, their purpose, or some pivotal moment in their life where they're meant to take on a lesson. They're meant to grow spiritually, cosmically, you know, karmically, whatever you, however you want to phrase it, and they don't do. And it's not because necessarily that they're resistant, consciously resistant. It's very much their patterning. It's just how they are in life. They are page energy, young, spiritually speaking, because Juan's also with uh, talks about spiritual uh, endeavors or, or, or uh, energy levels, right? So this person has a young spirit, meaning... They, if you believe in this or not, I talk to my friends about this all the time. This person hasn't lived many lives, whether it be here or some other dimension, some other form of existence, whatever. This person is very fresh out the oven, you know, <laughs> but they don't have to be a young person physically. They are just a young soul, period. Versus, yeah, I mean, we talk about it all the time. Oh, that person, you know, Jenny, such an old soul. Barry, such an old soul. Sophia, such an old soul. Okay, how, do, what, how does one become an old soul? At some point, they were a young soul. And that's what we're talking about here. Now, if we're talking about a child in physical age, mm, makes sense. You know, sometimes <laughs> some children who come into this world are legit old soul or young souls as well. But I, I just get the sense that this person is also still exploring things, but it's not. It's not exploring spiritual things, or at least they haven't gotten there yet. They're still very much attached to what exists in their logic, what exists in a rational space. That's okay, you know, whoever this is, that's okay. I mean, I think the detriment is more self-experienced. I think whoever this is, in some ways, without meaning it, it could be very subconscious, they are putting themselves in place to continue to face life lessons, cosmic life lessons, karmic life lessons. You know, this person could be extremely accomplished in terms of traditional uh, uh, education. They could be a PhD two or three times over, but <laughs> spiritually, they're in remedial. They are repeating grades. Do you get me? Um, overall energy... Virgo, Seven of Cups. So, again, with the Strength card and how it's facing the Wheel of Fortune, this person is looking at something and possibly doesn't know what to do with it, possibly doesn't know what to make of it. Again, High Priestess in the reverse could be seeing signs and synchronicities uh, and not being able to connect those dots, not really... It doesn't resonate with them, it doesn't compute to them, whatever. So that could be what's coloring their world at this time uncertainty, uh, a plethora of options, or what they might perceive as a lack of options. You know, because if you are, again, I'm not harping on people who are atheists, I'm just using them as an example. I have respect for everybody's personal beliefs. If someone is an atheist, 
and they have a plethora of options, they might perceive that they have no options because for however long in their life, they have believed there is no God. There is no one creator. There is no central reason or, or, or rhyme as to why we exist here on earth. It's all probability. It's all luck. It's all scientific fact. And it has nothing to do with anything uh, esoteric or metaphysical. The unexplained can be explained in that it doesn't it, it it has no purpose or it has no uh it has no uh clout it has no argument you know it has no place so there's plenty of options there's plenty of different spiritual uh tenets that they could get into that is removed from religion i'm a very spiritual person but i'm not religious at all you know but this person may not think of it that way it's all or nothing. It's, it's sort of like how this person thinks. Not all of them, but some of them. Whoever this is, you or someone else, okay? So, Virgo, that is your reading. If this reading resonated with you, if it made sense to you, if you liked it, hit the like button, drop a comment if you want to share how it resonated. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel before, friends, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please, 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 come on, be a good pal. I'm kidding. If you don't want to, you don't have to. <laughs> but... If you are interested in getting a personal reading with me, you can find out how to do so by looking in the description box below, okay? Virgo, I thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will be back, I will be back very soon with your mid, mid, I can't even talk here at the end, with your mid-June readings. Until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care.